Call Mr. Dr. Speaker. Kennedy Graham. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The um, objective of this bill before us is to amend the Insurance Prudential Supervision Act 2010, which established a licensing and prudential supervision regime for insurers operating in New Zealand. The amendments are claimed to have the aim of improving the Act's effectiveness and ensuring a smooth transition to full licensing of insurers by first amending the provisions that are unnecessary, second amending provisions that impose unwarranted compliance costs and three by addressing so-called technical issues. The amendments are described as generally minor and technical in nature and indeed have been described by colleagues, especially from Labour, uh, several times in the House tonight as housekeeping. So that is the objective. The, what is in the content of the bill? There are nine technical changes to the prudential requirements obtaining in the insurance industry. Let us look at a few of them. First, the amendment will include things like allowing the Reserve Bank to exempt a licensed insurer from the requirements to have a current financial strength rating if the insurer has stopped writing new contracts. Secondly, it would allow overseas insurers to use accounting rules that apply in their home country for interim financial reporting rather than adhering to New Zealand's own accounting practices. Thirdly, it would require the Reserve Bank to keep a public register of all licensed insurers while dropping the requirement for it to be made available on the bank's website. Uh, fourthly, it would make any offences under the Principal Act Category 3 offences as defined by the Crimes Act, thereby creating a statute of limitations of five years. The bill was referred after the first reading into the Select Committee, uh, I think it was on 8 May. Uh, enough time, five weeks or so, was allowed until the closing of submissions on the 14th of June. As David Clark has pointed out, uh, only four submissions were actually made, and in fact only two were heard by the Committee. Uh, scarcely an earth-shattering event, uh, this housekeeping. The recommendations coming back from the Select Committee were themselves minor, as the Committee itself described. Uh, some changes to Clause 11, extending the deadline for interim financial information from three months to four months. Uh, changes to Clause 16, pertaining to provisional licences, and Clause 246 also on that subject as well. Minor changes to a technical bill. The bill, in its essence, is seeking to relax the regulatory framework. And that is the wrong time to be doing this in a post-GFC environment. The housekeeping that we're talking about is the wrong kind of housekeeping, tidying up some simple matters but heading in the wrong direction. The Green Party on that basis opposed this bill in the first reading. The minor amendments recommended back by the Select Committee change nothing. The Green Party will continue to oppose the bill. Any further speakers? Mr Speaker. I call Maggie Berry. Thank you Mr Speaker. Um, I